think you need to be in a workplace where you're passionate about what you're doing, passionate about your clients, um, really enjoying the other people that you're working with. Ask me is you know what happens if you don't fit in in the workplace yes, what happens? and you know there are times that it's the right thing to say is I this isn't the best place for me it's not a comment on me personally it's a comment on a combination of me and the workplace and the right thing for me to do is find something that does fit um, but I'm not I'm not really a career coach I guess the other thing you asked me is um, you know what do I value in working with people and why do I like this particular role and um, besides besides the kind of clients that we work with and the fact that I feel like we can really help them grow their businesses, which is really fulfilling for the teams here, and we have great clients, um, is that everybody who works at Google mm. is really interesting. Mm. And not only are they really smart, but we've, I think, gone to some effort. I think I told you we use that term googly, yes, which googly. no one can quite define <laughs> about some combination of good yes. quantitative skills, exhibition of leadership, drive, um, academics, but also just something that makes them unique and interesting or they have something they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I guess what I like, I, I know I told you I'm passionate about badminton and about <laughs> travel, which you know, neither one is so particularly unique, yeah. but I love working with these other people who are so interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I love finding out, there's, there's a guy um, just outside the office now who I read a lot and I was telling him about a, what I read and I had read Nine Lives by William Dalrymple, who's a Scottish guy living in India. And he produced for me every book that William Dalrymple's ever written. Wow. And um, he is of, of Indian origin and he's just like told me all about Indian literature. It's been great, you know, and I found out he knows all this stuff. And so, you know, we, t we talk about it all the time. It's been really fun to learn. And there are other people who've traveled all these great places, and I lean on them for, you know, two other women in the office went to Sri Lanka last year, and then off I went with my family because they said they had a great guide. And now a guy who works for me is going um, at the Chinese New Year using the guide we used. And there are people who, um, I was in uh, the UK for work last week, well, I was in Ireland, sorry, for work last week, same. And, uh, but there was an English guy there, and I was telling him I had just, this is about reading too, I had just read Roll Call, which mm. was a, Booker Prize winner about um, really about what Henry VIII split from the Catholic Church. And I said, you know, I really like it, but it's a lot of complexity about English history, and I don't quite get it all. And over a Guinness, he started t just basically telling me all about British history. Like, he's he's not just your normal British citizen. He's obviously studied history, I, and he just told me so much. I just learned so much from sitting and talking to him over dinner and drinks about British history that I wish I'd known before I read the book, but I know a lot more now. So it's really just... Fascinating. I guess you gave me the word a minute ago about being curious, but I think, I mean, hopefully I'm on the right border of <laughs> curiosity and nosiness, but um, I just find people fascinating. They're like, I'm in awe of all the people here who speak multiple languages, and there's all these really interesting people who are, we, like we have a guy in the office who's Jamaican, you know, how did he get to work in Singapore, right? I mean, the answer is he went to school partly in the U.S., etc., etc., but you know, this is pretty cool. There's a Jamaican guy whose father is partly an actor who, who works and lives here. Or um, I think I had started to tell you about a woman I met in Japan who was doing oh, recruiting yes. for us, but who's Russian, but of Mongolian descent. Yes. And I just, I guess I'm not afraid to ask people. And in the end, most of the time, it seems like people are taking it in the way that it's meant, which it really is, which is I'm just curious because I think they're so cool as opposed to I'm trying to be nosy. And I, I am um, hopefully smart enough to get the signal that if it's something people don't want to talk to me about, that they'll, you know, to, to not pry. Right. But, you know, you just find, like, we have people out here who know all about cricket or people who um, are, we've got a Portuguese tennis champ down the hall, and he's very shy about talking about it when you ask him, and he's an amazing player. Yeah. And so, anyway, I just love that stuff, and I get, it's, um, for me, it's a side benefit of working.